Okay, so um, the fastest method that I know of of transferring shape key animation from one character to the other, which I'm gonna show you. Um, so you see this character's talking. I'm gonna transfer his talking animation onto this other character. And essentially how you do that is on the character that's receiving the shape key animations, um, you have to have uh, a beginning keyframe. So in the timeline, you want to have timeline set to beginning and you have to have a keyframe on every shape key that you want to be animated so for example um, all you have to do is right click insert shape key right click intrip shape key right click intrip shape key right click intrip shape key so those four keys are ready to receive um, shape key data of the same uh, name from this character. So the shape keys have to be named exactly the same and they have to have corresponding um, shapes, meaning you know, if the character here is smiling and it's a smile shape key that has to be smiling over there and you know by the same name. Okay, so I'm just gonna undo those couple. Okay. So essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to this character and then we're going to open up the dope sheet editor. So the dope sheet editor, you click this little clock face, you go to dope sheet and you have this guy cl uh, clicked on. You open up your summary, you see that there's a ton of keyframes on this character. Um, essentially you want to copy them all. So right now we can't see them all. So we got to expand out our timeline a lot. Um, it's actually easier to do that from the timeline editor. But um, so it's almost 2000 keyframes. So before we transfer, we just want to make sure everything can play. So let's go back to the timeline and let's go ahead and add 19, um, 50 at the end. Well, now let's go ahead and just do a full 2000. Because you see here, it's a 2000, that's where our animation ends. Okay, so let's go back to dope sheet. So, clock face, dope sheet. So, what you want to do is you want to highlight, select all of your animation. And then you go ahead and hit Control C for Control Copy then you select your other character and you don't want to go right to the beginning because you want to leave your t-pose uh, in position well with a neutral pose on the face in case you need that for some reason later on which often you may you can always cut that out later so then you go control v for paste and now voila he's talking so now both characters are talking uh, they're not in sync because um, I pasted, you know, this one 10 frames over or something. Um, so then you don't need this character anymore. So you could delete them or just uh, turn off viewing of them. But you have your character talking. Uh, different tutorial, I'll show how to add his voice um, audio track into the Blender. But that's that.